notice he didn't say this the same way twice. You rarely want to say things the same way twice. And the this just was so infectious. I just realized this freaking bat has a peg leg. What? Taylor, eh? Or is it Taylor E.H.? Hi there. My name is Taylor Abrahams. I'm a professional voice actor in Canada, guy. I lead voice acting workshops out of my studio here. That was paid for with voice acting work. And I thought I'd do some videos where I delve in and critique some voice acting. Today we're going to watch a show that's coming to Cartoon Network on July 1st called Mau Mau. To be honest with you, I've already seen this pilot episode a couple times now. Spoiler alert, I don't like it at all. So let's delve in. I love the theme song once the girl starts singing. Here's the thing about Cartoon Network lately. They use very almost amateurish voice acting, but I don't mean that in a demeaning way. It adds just this really sweet level of innocence. It's been going on since Adventure Time. Sometimes it sounds like it's the intern they're just bringing in to voice something. I get a little bit of that feel with the, the theme song. Compare that to an 80s theme song where you'd have some tough guy trained rock singer doing it. In this, it's much more innocent. And then you have that contrasted with Mau Mau, who you'll meet soon. Oh my god. It's, it couldn't be more anime if you tried. I love you, I love you, Mau Mau. Show me how, how to be a hero like you. Speaking as a musician now, that's like every anime surprise chord change thrown at you in 10 seconds. I love it. Oh, that one looks like a baby bunny! That one looks like a, a monster! Notice how distinct each character's voice is right out of the gate. And their voices fit their body types instantly. Oh, you've got a frog thing that's like this. And then we got our sweet little bat. Wish I understood that line. Sometimes when you have that kind of naive voice acting, I think sometimes uh, enunciation can get lost. You trade clarity for cuteness. Too much stimulation. <laughs> Too much stimulation. Oh, booey. I ain't afraid of some dumb monster. <sighs> Isn't that a sweet little sigh? I heard the sigh, and it kind of made me cry. I heard the sigh. Little bit. We're almost there. Fly like a grandma. Yo, that's really rude to grandmas. That's a great line. <laughs> Notice how they're talking a little slow. You're like a grandma. Well, you're like this. Well, da -da 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 -da. And then suddenly something really fast to jut. That is something very important to remember in voice acting is contrast. I like to treat voice acting like it's a musical thing. Sometimes it's nice and slow. Sometimes it's huge and it's really, really fast. Sometimes it's really, really fast, but it's also really, really soft. You kind of don't know what you're going to get sometimes! <laughs> You've got to bring things to life so that when they're listening with their eyes closed, they see and feel everything. And you're keeping them engaged after they've heard 40, 50 people read the same lines. For that actor, it could have been some of those little ways that he seemed very serious, and then suddenly broke into something really fast, and then went really serious again. That might have had them pay attention. I love his laugh. So the badger guy, again, a more natural voice actor, but they've got someone more animated, more Darkwing Duck, more Puss in Boots, doing Mau Mau, which I think was a good choice. I also feel a lot of uh, Fangbone in him, who is a character that I voiced, who is very melodramatic. Ha, here we go. This is a bad idea, man. These pirates are... Yeah, see, like, supernatural. Like, he's almost like the stoner. Just look at the decor. Just look at the decor. Once we take down these sky pirates, our reputation will soar. And That's a cool thing, to make the word that you're saying sound like the thing that it is. Our reputations will soar! So you can almost feel like something's shooting off as he says it. That incompetence. That's cute. Who cares? <laughs> it's good to have him do the contrast, and uh, especially when he's extra soft and the other guy's extra loud. I told you that incompetence. It's cute. Who cares? Ah, oh, but now we meet the bad guys. See? 
there's a tendency to have your main characters be a bit more sweet and natural. You leave it to your bad guys to still be your classic crazy bad guys, which I love. Attention, you scurvy dogs! And I really thought that that was Jim Cummings, but it's Mr. Black. Pretty impressive. Phone call! Let's see. Uh, a Rango Steak? Oh, <laughs> here. All these little giggles in it, they really let the characters laugh and giggle. That tends to be a thing that's like all the time in preschool shows. Dare you to watch an episode of The Cat in the Hat and just count how many times characters giggle. An 8 to 12 type show like this. Although I'm 28 and I'm watching it. A show like this, it's cool to hear all the characters just freely giggle and do presumably improvisatory giggles. The only time that he sounds like he's reading something is when he's literally reading something off of that clipboard. Let's see. Let's see. Like, I felt like he was really acting, like he was reading that. And notice how clean and tight all the transitions are when they have a line, even if they have to, like, change personalities halfway through a line. Maybe you're right. Perhaps we... Oh, say, what's that? Maybe you're right. Like, maybe... Oh, say, what's that? He probably improvised that little run-on of the maybe you're right, maybe it's... He closed the gap. British people say mind the gap. I say destroy the gap! <laughs> Excuse me, but this is sort of a private function. He's very polite about it. I love that. And it starts trying to be like this, and then the voice goes down. I'm playing a character right now who does that quite a bit. One trick, if you're playing a wide-eyed, in awe character, literally open up your eyes wide, and just, you can read all the lines just being like this, like, whoa. Wow! 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 <laughs> False horse drift, sir! And a red rag! Whoa, whoa! We're doomed! <laughs> I love Ratarang. I love useless villains. Incredibly similar to the uh, Netflix Puss in Boots series in terms of premise of like finding some untouched society that you have to protect and having a, a cat protagonist who is very heroic. This one also shamelessly uh, takes from anime and is shamelessly nostalgic like almost everything that's on TV now for children. I can tell this was made by millennials. Well that makes this easy. Ah, you look so well that makes this easy. Wah! Again, get rid of the gaps. It's funnier. If he had taken them in for a second and then screamed I'd slow down, kid. What do you want? I want to be fat! Uh, be what now? This! Uh, adventurer? Notice he didn't say this the same way twice. You never, you rarely want to say things the same way twice. And the this just was so infectious. I just realized this freaking bat has a peg leg. What? Everyone except Mau Mau seems to have some deformity. Yeah! Yeah! I want to be a hero! Well... It's like almost annoying, but too cute to be annoying, the little thing. Taste. <laughs> Adorabat, of course. One hour later. Back again, I had to teach a voice student. It was fun! No one here is interested in a pony! 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 No one here is... Okay, no, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm at full power. So I'm going to give the real good voice note thing in my bobber diggers. Bye, have a beautiful time. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe, click the thumb and the bell. Below you can check out other videos, my music, and more. I'm also on Facebird and Instagram or whatever. And here's me as a kid saying, so long for now. <laughs>